Something that's important to remember is that PowerShell's default formatting system is based on the sort of the assumption that the formatting system will only have to deal with one type of object at a time. For example, if I run get process, it deals with that one type of object and creates that table. If I run get service, it deals with that one type of object and creates that one table. That can get a little bit confusing when you're in a script. See, properly speaking, a script is not just a batch file. Each script has one pipeline that holds all of the output from that script. If I enter get process and get service, both of these commands are going to put their output into that one pipeline. And that means the formatting system is going to have to somehow find a way to display both processes and services. And if we look at the output of that, it's, it's kind of useful, but it's not awesome. Uh, we get the table that we're used to, for processes because that was the first object. And then the formatting system hit this next one and said, well, dude, you just totally switched gears on me midstream. I, I can't go back at this point and create a whole new table, so I'm just going to switch to list mode. So it's kind of an important thing to understand, especially when you start putting together scripts, is that you want them to output only one kind of thing. And being able to output only one kind of thing that combines information from multiple places is something we'll explore later on in the book and in the series of companion demonstration videos.